Hello and welcome to tutorial 48 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn to program in TradeStation Easy Language. And uh, if you're not on our email mailing list, then please go to markplex.com and sign up and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs such as this one. And what we're going to be doing today is using linear regression to find the slope and uh, y-intercept of a line which most closely re represents according to a linear regression um, least squares methods a line uh, representing information on a chart so here you can see I've cut a little uh, piece of a chart onto a XY coordinates and uh, we're simply calling the bars 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and um, if we uh, look at the uh, the closing values which I've just plotted here, you can see these are the closing values and uh, the linear regression tells us that the uh, the most closely fitting line is this one here in blue. So what we're going to do is calculate this initially using a spreadsheet just so that uh, I can explain the formulae. In fact let's just uh, look at the uh, the formula here and uh, you'll see this is the, uh, the formula that we're going to calculate the slope using calling the slope m. This symbol here means, simply means sum so in our case x is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and the y is the actual value uh, in our, our case any mini value and uh, that's uh, how we calculate the slope and um, similarly the uh, intercept which we're calling c and uh, then finally we're going to fit that data into a y equals mx plus c which uh, is probably a little bit more familiar so the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a simple little program that's going to uh, get the uh, the data from the chart for us so what we've done we just set up a couple of inputs numbers price and then on the last bar on chart what we're going to do is just going to go from one to numbers and we're going to print we don't need that we're just going to print the closing value uh, now we're doing this in reverse order so what I've done here is I've just said numbars minus value 1 so when value 1 is 1 that's going to be 9 when value bar, uh, value 1 is 2 that's going to be 8 because we're starting to the left of the chart so we need to start with the earliest data which is going to be 987654321000 0 being the most recent bar so I'm just going to verify that and uh, this is already I believe applied to a chart so uh, we're just going to go view and uh, look at the output bar and uh, we're just going to take the well let's just first of all check that that data appears correct so for example close there 16325 next close 16275 next close 16275 uh, next one um, 16125 so that looks correct so let's just take the 10 values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and uh, I'm just going to copy that and we're just going to go to a spreadsheet that I have already created and uh, I'm just going to delete the data we already have there I'm just going to replace it with our data I'm going to go edit paste and uh, it looks like there's a space there at the top so so as not to confuse things confuse things I'm just going to edit paste and uh, that's going to put it in the exact slots and uh, so um, what we're doing we've got the y x value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we sum that we've got the uh, the y values from the chart we sum those then what we do is we multiply this value and this value to give this value this value multiply this value to give this value this is the xy so the sum of the xy is this value here then finally we've got the uh, x squared so 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 and we sum those and then the uh, the formula that we just looked at a, a few moments ago we've got n which in this case is 10 times sum xy which is this number here minus the sum of x multiplied by the sum of y then all of that is is divided by brackets n which is 10 multiplied by the sum of x squared which is this number here minus the sum of x 
squared. That gives us a slope of 0.1939 and a y-intercept of 1060.9333. So that is how we do it on a spreadsheet. Let's uh, let's go in and uh, modify our program so I can explain how this is done using TradeStation. So first of all, let's just go. Whoops! Let's just go back to the uh, the program we were looking at a few moments ago. And uh, we're just going to modify this. Now, the first thing we're going to need uh, a bunch of uh, variables here, which I've already. Uh, what? Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just type those in and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, uh, I'll probably just uh, go, go quiet for a few moments while I type these in. Okay, so M is going to be slope, and uh, C, we can't really say C because that's a reserved word, so it's going to say C, underscore C, and that is going to be the Y intercept. Notice I use a uh, semicolon there because that's the last of our variable declarations. Now, um, on the uh, spreadsheet, you saw that we actually calculated the sum of X and the sum of X squared by actually simply going through and adding them. There is actually, or there are actually formulae that allow us to, to do that. So uh, we don't need to do it each time. So I know, for instance, that sum of x is equal to brackets num bars multiplied by num bars, let's put that in brackets, plus one. and uh, all of that is divided by 2 and uh, you can check out for yourself whether that really does work but I can assure you it does and then the next one is numbars cubed so uh, we, I'm actually just going to say square numbars uh, multiplied by num bars that's uh, numbars cubed uh, divide that by 3 that's the first part of this calculation, plus square and numbers. So that's the uh, squaring of numbers, and uh, that is divided by two. Put thing there plus numbers divided by six. So as I say, they are formulae. And uh, once they're calculated, we only need to do that once, so we don't need to uh, waste any processing time. So the next thing is we need to calculate the sum of y and the sum of xy. So we've already got this little loop here that we uh, we set up previously. And uh, so let's put it in. Sum of y equals sum y, which is simply going to go through and... Uh, add up the price of uh, each bar. So uh, we're going to go value 1 minus 1 because we're going to go 0 to 9 bearing in mind that the, uh, the current bar is, uh, is 0. So I'm just going to close that square bracket there and uh, similarly go through sum x, y and uh, that is equal to sum x, y, plus. Now, in this case, we need to actually do it in reverse order because if you remember, the uh, the formula is expecting us to put this data in uh, left to right. So when value 1 is 1, we need the leftmost bar. So we need to actually reverse the order. I'm going to do that just exactly the same as we did when we were printing the, uh, the values previously. So we're going to go um, numbers minus value 1. Okay, it looks like I'm um, just getting to the uh, 10 minute mark here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, leave it here and uh, continue in a new video in a moment.